Today we are flying out to Barcelona to take a look at some epic printers and potentially taking the lead into one of the biggest financial investments we have ever made in our small business. Quarter would actually work really well for catnip. This would be one of the biggest investments we will have ever, ever made. Come with us as we take a look at some of these beastie machines before I sit down and have a heart to heart about our decision. Manchester Airport. So today is quite an exciting start to kind of a studio vlog. We are actually flying out to Barcelona for two nights because we have been invited out by Roland Printers. So I'm very very excited because me and Dean have actually looked in to invest in, in a Roland printer, actually any printer in general, and we were quite curious about it. And what they're doing is they're hosting like a creative workshop and we're gonna get to be able to sit down with a Roland specialist and talk through like different printing options. So they also have this big printer and cutter and sticker machine, which is what we actually looked at. For those of you who are new, we have a small stationery and sticker business and we currently use four crickets, which isn't like the most professional thing, but it does the trick and we outsource our stickers, but we were looking potentially investing in a big printer. So this is gonna be interesting because it'll help us make our mind up or at least give us some options and know what's out there on the market and be able to actually talk to Roland representatives. They have fully paid for this trip to go out there in the event, so we are really looking forward to it. I can't wait for the creative workshop because I've also designed a little Bumblebutt Christmas phone case or Gingy and Spice one, I haven't decided which one to make, um, that we get to make in the creative workshop. So I thought I would bring you guys along with us. What a cool and exciting event. And I know a few of you guys actually reached out, I think it was on Patreon, that said they had a rolling printer or were looking into it. So I can't wait to show you the printing options because uh, I know a lot of you guys also are small business owners too. So hopefully get a little bit from this vlog. Anyway, I am now actually going to get my laptop out because I need to edit a video. So I'm going to get to work on editing and then we're going to wait for our flight and board our flight and head to Barcelona. Let's go together, shall we? to our hotel. I'm super excited because you can actually see Gaudi's Cathedral and I've always wanted to see that. I remember when I did art in secondary school uh, we learned about Gaudi in Barcelona and his architecture and I've always always wanted to come to Barcelona so the fact that we can see the top is so cool but obviously this isn't a sightseeing trip. We're literally only here for one day and we leave tomorrow morning. It's nice and bright and early in the morning and we are going to head to the Roland event together. I'll try and film and share what I learn uh, but yeah let's head off shall we first off though I need some coffee and I need some breakfast. Let's go to the event together shall we?
this bad boy is a printer and a cutter. Look at this. And also it's got like gloss and stuff on it. Like embossing. Wow. Makes you want it really bad. Yeah. Oh, I want one for catnip so bad. This literally could make some epic stickers. Dean's just found a machine over here who really likes printer and cutter for Print, stickers. Oh, wow. So it does like stickers like this, look. This is so cool. So it can do like foil. It gives you so many options, doesn't it? Size as well, isn't it? Yeah, that one over there. Was Look at that. Yeah. So you can actually emboss and everything and foil, personalization. Yeah. That's so cool. It looks like Epcot. The Epcot ball. This over there is what I've actually looked into for catnip. This is the first level of printer that we have. It's an eco solvent. Maybe some of you know you can create this a print like that and you can create a sticker. More when I was doing my research on upgrading from my desktop printer and Cricut cutters, the Versa Studio BN20 series is the line of printers I did the most research over. It seemed like it was a leap from hobby machines into more professional but entry grade printer and cutter systems. I did want an all-in-one printer and cutter because I don't have loads and loads of space and I wanted to streamline my setup. I think if I was going to invest in this back in 2019 it would have been perfect for my business then. However, after seeing it in action, I actually think catnip may be a little bit more advanced for this beast of a machine because of the quantity of stickers we need to print at any given time if we were to bring it back in-house. Not only that, but I also want a machine that can do many more different things such as greeting cards, so speed is pretty important and I felt like this is where the BN20 had its downsides. However, I feel like this would have been a brilliant investment when I only needed to make smaller runs of different stickers and products. It's given me so much much idea. I want it all. You can make your own packaging and stickers on this one. So I actually think me and Dean have been talking this printer and cutter would actually work really well for catnip because we have been wanting to find a way to invest and start building things more in our studio because we've outsourced at the minute and this one is perfect because the other desktop ones are great for entry level. I'll talk a little bit more later on when we're not in Roland. Um, my thoughts through investing in a catnip and stuff but I think the desktop ones are going to be too slow for us at catnip but this one <gasps> falling in love with it. The options in my mind is like filled with ideas and things that we can actually do. I'm so excited this has been the best ever. I'm such a nerd like about printers but how exciting. This is the True Biz MG. The printer that seemed the perfect perfect middle ground for what we needed. Available in 64 inch the VG640 and 54 inch the VG540. An all in one UV printer and cutter. You can print all sorts of things with this baby which has my mind whirling with ideas from decals, labels, banners and even vehicle graphics. Because it's a UV printer the prints are hard wearing and water resistant which means my vinyl stickers could be as well. It has a huge 7 ink colour tank and one colour you can switch out to either print gloss or print a layer which allows you to foil. The downside though, the price tag coming in at a hefty £15,000. Oh my goodness, more on that in a little bit. Oh, it's Bumblebutt. Oh my gosh. How exciting the fairy is. This beast right here is one of Roland's super large UV table printers which can print on so many different substrates. This is completely out of our budget but it was super cool to see it in action as we printed the Bumblebutt phone case. I actually mentioned I designed earlier on. We just had Bumblebutt printed on a phone case but we're just waiting for another one because it's transparent and this one's a slightly smaller phone case but how cute would this be in catnip? I love it. Dean's having a look at all the printed products over there. I'm Catherine Kerr, owner and director of Catnip Studios, a small family owned business who specialises in cute, kawaii products and legit like Ah, we're back from Barcelona and I am going to sit down and chat with you about my experience and what we found when we had a look at the printers and making our little phone cases. It was really, really, really cool to go to Roland HQ and actually see them in action and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But first of all, I did just want to say a huge, huge thank you to today's sponsor Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you exist into the channel, know that I absolutely love Skillshare. I have been using Skillshare for years and years and years and they have been one of the biggest 
biggest supporters and sponsors of this channel and for those of you who maybe don't know what it is and you are new to our channel it is an amazing online learning community filled to the brim with online classes for you to choose from a lot of the times I actually get questions about how I stay productive how I manage to juggle uh, my business my home life and my personal channel and personal content that is through planning to do lists and productivity to do lists and also I actually enjoy watching videos about productivity and taking classes on productivity and Skillshare actually has a whole bunch of different productivity classes. In fact I mentioned earlier in the video that I was planning my notion to do list for the weekend in Barcelona. Now I'm by no means a great teacher so it's pretty lucky that Skillshare has so many classes on the subject including this notion masterclass by one of my personal favourite content creators Ali Abdel. But they also do different classes as well like art and illustration and small business classes and I've also took classes on like filmmaking, how to make my vlogs better for my personal channel. The first 500 people to click in my link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare membership but if you are actually watching this in real time they are doing a special November deal where you can get 30 days free and 50% off your first whole year of Skillshare membership. I hope you guys like it. Now let's get into my thoughts and feelings about when I came to Broland. Don't think their goal was actually to sell us a printer, although I could be wrong. I think it was more like a social media event, which was very, very fun to attend. However, it had my mind whirling as a small business owner and something, like I mentioned, I have been looking into for a while. I have wanted to invest in a printer for a while since we started out sourcing our printers but if I'm being honest it's been so overwhelming looking at the choices of big printers and it's hard to get any information on them honestly. A lot of the places that I go to to learn about new printers and reviews and technology is like YouTube or Skillshare or wherever I can online just online reviews in general and I do find these bigger machines these more heftier machines there is very limited information on them online in general so I found it really overwhelming when I was looking into it. There is quite a lot of reviews about the BN20s and the Versa Studio, which I mentioned earlier in the vlog, but there isn't many on these like kind of mid-range ones. And I want to talk about why I would like to invest in this in my business. So back in 2020, we started seeing a big influx in order orders for our like planner stickers and everything, and we just simply couldn't keep up cutting them on the cricket. Our crickets were always constantly running and giving me headaches. I think we just outgrew them as a business and then I started doing research about investing in printers and seeing what would work for us and then I just felt completely overwhelmed so I ended up outsourcing my stickers um, which is what we've kind of done ever since. Quite frankly you don't know where to start until I got invited out to Roland so I was very very excited because I was like oh my gosh this is the opportunity to finally like look at them in person, see them printing in person and see the capabilities of these printers. Truth be told because it was like a group event I didn't really get to really sit down and talk through the nitty nitty gritty details but we are going back now in December which I'll take you guys along with me and I'm going to try and see more about the printer that I am actually interested in which was the Truvis one that I mentioned earlier in the vlog that is the one that I thought was like the perfect middle ground so when we went and we seen all the printers laid out in the studio there was a few that were just way too big and overkill for what we need did. Those type of printers, if you're like a large print company or maybe you're planning on opening a business where you provide prints for people like posters and you provide business cards, those are the type of printers you would probably go for. For us that is major overkill, we wouldn't need to have it running as often as that. And that was one question I actually had is do the print heads get clogged up because although the print printers would be running probably like three days a week I would say while we had manufacturing days that's what we'd have to start doing uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out on the way if we end up doing that we would have manufacturing days but there would be days where the printer wasn't get, getting used and I was really worried about the print heads clogging up they did assure us it has like this self clean mode uh, so there's more things like more questions I really want to delve into just to make sure I got that right and you might be wondering why would we want to bring the manufacturing back into catnip and it's a very good question truth be told but one it gives us more 
more variety of what products we could actually offer. We could experiment with different products and we could th do things like greeting cards, sticker sheets. So we could get creative and actually create our own like die cut sticker, sticker within a sticker. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, like I could do a bumble butt shaped die cut with stickers that are kiss cut inside. I just have loads of different ideas. Do you know what I mean? Whereas our current sticker manufacturer doesn't do anything like that. You get bog standard sticker sheets or die cut stickers and that's pretty much it. And it also meant we could print multiple different things on this printer including our packaging which was a very very interesting thing to come across like we could do packaging and stickers on it with it being a UV printer as well it's also water resistant which means our stickers would have like a really good longevity to it and I just think it would work really nicely so it would give us a lot of flexibility and then it would also give us a lot of quality control as well we'd be able to control the quality more than when we outsource it because at the end of the day when we're outsourcing that printer is just basically doing another job like that day and they're probably not going to take as much care love and attention into every single product as we would having it back here at catnip also it potentially could be cheaper making it in-house but not necessarily all the time because you have to remember you have to buy the stickers you have the manpower you have the inks i want to know how much the inks are to replace because i bet they are pretty expensive so there's all that to factor in as well but it could be potentially cheaper per unit but then obviously we have to work that out but i just really like the idea of having it back in house again the reason we outsource it is just simply we couldn't keep up with the orders uh, but we did like manufacturing things in house it is nice as well it's nice to know that things as much as we can are getting made up in the studio i think it's a nice i don't know business i, I like the idea of that it's all good talking about all of this and like reinvesting in this big printer and being able to do all these things with this printer but there's one downside and that is the funding it is very very expensive even with the mid-range it is like fifteen thousand pound for the mid-range printer this is an investment as a business owner this would be one of the biggest investments we will have ever ever made in catnip i have never got a loan or anything like that in catnip it's always been um, from working from when i worked full time i would put my own money into it and then i'd slowly slowly build it up like that if it came to funding with this printer i would probably have to look at something like a higher purchase which i've never done before i've never got a piece of machinery on higher purchase but i know it's quite standard to do in businesses and we're at that kind of weird growth level where we're we're still like a handmade craft business but then we want to get into the next level but the next level means spending more money and doing more risky things in business like this so we have a lot a lot to think about when it comes to this printer and I would actually love to know you guys if you have invested in a large wide format printer if you like it what your experience is with it I love the fact that this is a printer and cutter all in one system because one thing I did look at before when I was looking at printers and cutters was getting a wide format printer and then getting a separate vinyl cutter personally didn't like the idea of having two separate machines I like the idea of having an all-in-one we'll learn about that on the journey on the way I don't have all the answers right now but I'm sure as I do when I document these things I document it on this channel one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to rush into this decision because this is a big decision for my business do I want to just keep outsourcing I do have the tendency to run rush into these type of things and I really don't want to rush into this and get really over excited when I see a shiny machine I'm like oh my gosh I really want it. This is a very big purchase and something I really need to take time to consider and ponder over. So we have actually arranged with Roland to head back uh, to Bristol at the headquarters in the UK and we are going to see in more detail what the printers can actually do for us as a business owner and I can like pick the brains a little bit more uh, about the different types of printers and what exactly I can manage and if it is something that we can do in the studio. I'm also taking Dean and Mike with us on this trip because I do want the whole team there to see, <laughs> to kind of give me advice and also see if this is something that is viable for us. This is 
gonna be one of the biggest investments if we do go ahead with it again I would love to have your opinions if you are a business owner out there and you have invested in something like this or do you think it is better me outsourcing the stickers and stationary items and if you think it's a terrible idea or actually you think it is a pretty good investment I would love to hear from you guys because I know a lot of you guys have successful businesses yourself but in the next one we are going to be doing our Black Friday Christmas launch you only have a couple of days to do it so wish us luck i'll see you in the next one all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye <laughs>